My name is Jessica Valdivieso. I'm from Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia. It's in the middle of South America. And um, I came to the States to study architecture in the University of Arkansas in 2010. And I ended up studying architecture, but realizing that I wanted to be a painter and more, you know, related to art. Intrinsic integrity came from thinking of um, one whole thing that has a very complex uh, structure and, and and just complex, a complex concept. And I, it's like a, like an entity with a lot of different faces and, and, and moments. And it's a whole, it's a, it's a one thing, you know? And, and I think it, I like that title a lot because it's a, a search of like integrity. We've got every painting and every installation that I want, that I make. I'm searching for just it, like that all of them are connected somehow it, showing an experience, you know, or different kind of experiences because not all of them show the same experience. So some of the paintings seem very uh, linear and very spatial and they are, but they are also, they have also kind of like an emo emotional feeling uh, that I'm trying to portray through the colors and sometimes through the structures of the lines. And they, they do uh, describe a certain time of my life that I was going through this certain path, you know? And there's some one painting in the show called Intensa uh, that is very intense. Uh, and Intensa is intense for span in Spanish, you know? And I think that that painting uh, was a time where, the, where there was a lot of change in my life. I was uh, moving from Bolivia to Dallas back, uh, you know, and I've been living in the States for a long time already, but it was a new city and I didn't know anyone. And I was going through a lot of changes because I got married and uh, I was just like, you know, you become a different uh, person with all these changes in your life and it was an intense moment but it was not a bad moment to me like I think like all all the paintings or maybe not not all my paintings are about my like a life or a journey in life but some sort of path or or moment you know that is going through um you're going through like these these paintings are spaces that like some of them are a bit specific spaces that are, have stayed in my in my mind or have like impacted my life. For for example, Icon is a, a reference to a cathedral in Santa Cruz. It's the, it's the main cathedral of the city, and even though um, I'm not a specifically Catholic or anything, it's a very important piece of architecture that talks about my identity as a Bolivian person and, you know, how we have taken a, a lot of Spanish uh, colonization attitudes towards our attitude. Like, we have a lot of that in our identity um, because of history, you know. But I like drawing a lot on a sketchbook and do, like... Uh, I like sometimes do observational drawings, like draw spaces. And I think that gives me a lot of information of how to move forward. And then I make a lot of paint, like really like simple drawings on my sketchbook. I use a lot of tape in my work. There's like different thicknesses of tape. That's how I draw on the paintings. Starting the white paintings uh, was kind of like a reaction to all the, the very colorful paintings that I was doing before. And basically I wanted to take the emotion out of the paintings because the colors always portray some sort of emotion that is very intense. Uh, and focus in the drawings of the paintings and the texture of the paintings and see how can I develop those ideas. Uh, and also, 
play with light in general, light, like the light source, how it hits the painting and uh, how you can create depth through the paintings. I, I, I really enjoy that path of learning how to, how to talk with less. How can you say what you want to say with less moves, uh, less color, and in this case, just light and shadow. One of my favorite pieces is uh, Not There Yet. Uh, because I, I think that it's, it's about this uh, artist's journey or maybe even as a human journey that you feel constantly like you are in the journey and that like, you feel like you're never there yet. Like you have never landed that place of happiness or, or confidence or comfortability or whatever it is, you know? So, but even though you're not there yet, it, it can be it can be a really enjoyable time. The grid that takes you through like that path. It's it's also like I think uh, about talking about this intri intri intrinsic integrity of of like my artwork, you know, that I like to show this intrinsic pattern that is interconnected and it's a whole thing and it's it there's like a integrity in the work.